Welcome back friends. In this video tutorial, we'll be talking about uh, the age structure or age diagrams. Now, what are age structures? Now, before going into age structures, we must look at uh, why we read age structures. Age structures actually, um, it's a diagram or diagramic uh, representation of uh, the age distributions of a population uh, for different individuals, right? Uh, that means, for example, in a population we have a male, female, and also we have children, adult, and mid-age. So, so in all these things, if we take account for everything, the what percentage of them are male, what percentage of them are female, what percent are early and twenty, I mean teenagers, what percentage are adults. So, if we take everything, every data account for, and if we if we place them from uh, in a it's, a it's a structure like let me explain it to you here. If I, if I place everything, if I place those data in the form like a pyramid, right, from the, from in the bottom we have the under 15 uh, age individuals and as we go to the top we are going towards the higher age individuals and if you place them like this way, this, like this fashion, it will be called as an age diagram or age structure diagram. So this age structure diagram plays a vital role and it gives us some insight about populations. Now we are more interested about the age structure diagrams in human population because the human populations doubled three times in the last three centuries. That means in the last 300 years the population doubled three times. That is a huge uh, in, in improvement, I mean huge exponential growth that we see in human population. About 6.1 billion and may reach 9.3 billion by the year 2050. So see, it's now about 6.1, but it will be 9.3 about in 2050. So why these things are happening? Because of improved health uh, as well as improved technology, everything is giving us the extra age to live for long, but that will create a difficulty to live because in, in world, in, in earth, in the environment, environment has a carrying capacity. Carrying capacity is denoted with capital K, sorry, let me take a color, it is denoted with capital K and this capital K means carrying capacity is the number of individuals uh, environment can support for their growth, right, based on the food availability and all the environmental resources, it depends. So see, <clears throat> if you look at here uh, in the population of human, uh, from the 8000 BC and slowly you see up to 1000 AD, there is a steady uh, growth. But after this 1000 AD, up to 2000 AD almost, you see from 1000 AD to 2000 AD, almost there is a huge incline of this graph and that is uh, something to be worried about because you know, uh, this is a J-shaped curve, isn't it? Uh, we have talked about J-shaped curve as well as S-shaped curve. If you don't know what those things are, I will recommend you to watch my video on J-shaped graph or uh, exponential growth as well as the logistic growth curves. Once you know the exponential growth always gives us J-shaped curve, right? So see, this is a J-shaped curve, right? So this is an exponential growth. And we already know that exponential growth is not something supported by the environment because there will be a carrying capacity uh, which will definitely play a vital role there. And as an environment meet its carrying capacity, at that time that growth will be minimized, I mean it will be stabilized there and that population will uh, will enter into a stationary phase or stable phase of growth and then we then the graph will convert from J to the S shaped curve and we call them logistic growth. So in human that part will also be received also we uh, I mean it's very soon that we get this type of scenario in future. So if you look at the population uh, age structure it will tell us a very, very important insight in, in different countries and why the population is rising so much. Because see, the, in age structure graphs, in age diagrams, what we have is that we divide uh, the graph. It's not a graph typically, it's, it's a different kind of uh, diagram where we place the age group in the different layers uh, in staircases, just like a staircases, so we put them in different layers. So at the bottom layer, we have under 15, sorry, at the bottom layer, we have the under 15 individuals, right on top of that we have ages between 15 to 44, that is the middle age and finally we have the third and uppermost layer of ages 45 plus. So there are three different sections, bottom under 15, middle 15 to 44 and the upper ages 44 plus. So now uh, we, we place a middle uh, axis here, that is uh, axis number 0, 
right and we place uh, the different genders in the two different sides and this left hand side we have males right hand side we have females in all this case this is true now, if, we, if we take one as an example this is the example for the growth curve for Kenya if you see it is telling us an insight that uh, male and female means uh, how many number of individuals of male and female are there in that population so it's uh, if you look at here <coughs> at the bottom uh, the graph is something like that uh, that it is it is get getting narrower and narrower in the top and broader at the bottom this type of graph is the graph for the rapid growth huge fast growth fast growing population exponentially growing population and if you look at here in the under 15 part this is the under 15 section so so in this population most of the individuals are of under 15 because the broader it gets that means the more individuals are belonging to that group so here uh, the the mm, the broadest group here is the under 15 that means the under 15 group contains the maximum number of individuals for the population so if you see here maximum is under 15 then ages between 15 to 44 then ages 45 plus so there are less very few individuals present there from the age group 45 plus what does that mean you know 45 plus means those individuals already hit the menopausal uh, symptoms and things so they are not actively present there for the development and mating and all the stuff but most of them uh, which are the individual who, who ready for the mating and the development are from the age group between 15 to 44 right so age group between 15 to 44 and this age group 15 to 44 is very high in this population and as well as under 15 they are just at the prime time of their age they will develop they will grow so this is the time this is the reason that under 15 and 15 to 44 these are the groups uh, which are responsible for the uh, generation of new individuals because they are capable of the development they are capable of the mating so they will produce more and more offsprings right so if we look at here we can tell that uh, according to this graph those under 15 or age between 15 to 44 those individuals will mate and they'll produce a lot of offsprings there in future so the population will grow and grow throughout uh, the future times that is uh, the rapid growth phenomena so it is unstoppable growth it's growing very rapidly because uh, the those individuals are in the prime time of their career prime time of their growth phase are active in this um, group now if you take the second one is the united states you'll see the graph is different it's broader at the middle but very less in both this terminal so that means you know in under 50 region under 15 there are some people under 15 maximum people are between 15 to 44 years of age so already they have achieved their stuff they already have their offsprings and they, have, they already have their kids out there but those kids will grow and develop they will finally uh, mate and produce more offspring but these are few at the bottom because they are cutting stuff from the bottom so the bottom is not that much broad it is becoming thinner so that means that means this population is growing but it's growing slowly because uh, there are very few i mean it's compared to the population of kenya there are less under 15 individuals present here in the population of united states so that is a good uh, indication that uh, united states is taking care of the growth rate and also it's becoming less and less day by day now the third case is the Italy uh, population if you look in Italian population you see uh, in both these cases uh, the individuals are very less and the under 50 rate so if the individuals are very low at the under 50 radius that means that population are not going to get too much of offspring in future generations so they have no they will not see a huge growth rate because also you see uh, in these cases 45 age groups are uh, higher than the under 15 groups so 45 age means uh, those individuals will grow and they will die after some times right because after 65 or 70 years of age individuals will slowly start to die so more people will die but less people are burning uh, i mean they are born sorry less people born more people are dying so as a result of that this population are uh, this population is not seeing any uh, measurable development over the time so we call it a zero growth or we call it a decrease, uh, decrease or decline of the growth, right? So this is the scenario for three different countries: rapid growth, you know, developing countries in most of the cases, Kenya, in India also you'll see slow growth in United States, it's controlling things down, in China uh, also slow growth, and uh, this is for the Italy, the zero growth or decrease in the growth. 
so if you also look at here in both of them both of these uh, conditions for the uh, for uh, for the different populations you also see the difference between the population male and female and that is also a vital role because females are there in the prime time for their development right so they are also present at these different situations so uh, so this age diagrams not only tell us the important insight of how the population will grow over time and if we need to take any measurements to, to prevent the population to grow further or it's also telling us that the condition and status of the woman in those populations and that's kind of true because uh, the number of uh, individuals you see there are more and more uh, individuals of female as you see they are present in between under 15 and age group 15 to 14 and so so you can tell these things by looking at that uh, see in all these cases so these things are very vital because if you study this graph you can tell uh, the situation the economic and social situation of a, of a country of a population as well as their uh, whether they uh, need to stop uh, this further growth uh, or not on all this stuff okay so that's uh, that's kind of it guys about the age structure diagram and that is very helpful to understand a lot of important stuffs if you like the video please hit the like button share this video with your friends as well as subscribe to my channel to get more and more videos like this thank you